What is up, everybody? It is I, Jordan Johnson, your Rec Tech Twitter expert, making a special appearance on Facebook today, filling in for Olivia Chalmers, who was sadly left on the tarmac at the Denver airport. <laughs> but without further ado, let me introduce to you the ladies of Barbecue, Shannon Mitchell and Madeline Bachelor. Wow, that, that was, was a great intro, Jordan. Thank you. That was different. It threw me off. Yeah, it threw me off. It wasn't like uh, Olivia's yeah, subtle you like, intro. You, know, you didn't do this. Yeah, <laughs> you, she, he didn't do one of those. Well, I think no Jordan just likes like to be a part of barbecue. He does. He I was miss on it last Olivia. Week. Yeah. I shouldn't have left her. I feel All so right. bad. Yeah. I left her Way in Colorado. To make you feel <laughs> <laughs> what is up, everyone? We're so happy to be back. We hope that you all are either traveling to see your families or just enjoying yeah. getting ready for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going somewhere? I am not. I'm actually going to stay here in Augusta. Yeah. Who are you having Thanksgiving with? Anybody? I, I'm not sure yet. You want to come over? Yeah. Yeah, come on we'll over. We'll make this recipe. Sure. My mom would love it. My yes. mom, actually, my grandfather will love it because he loves apple pie. Really? Yeah. Wow. So I just kind of gave it away what we're making Yeah. Today. Way to just... Wow, we just <laughs> dove right on in. Right right on we in. were just like casually talking. You're like, I'm just going to give away the yeah. recipe. But guys, so last week I was in Colorado. I watched y'all. Rachel did an amazing job with you amazing. making some turkey. That Killed turkey. It. Killed that a turkey. great job. And it was already killed. But <laughs> Touche. Um, y'all are giving away today. Y'all, what did you hit? Uh, Icer Cooler. Icer Cooler. Yeah. So stay cooler. tuned. We'll yes. announce the winner of that. Yes. And then we also have a DG Bundle. And yep. a choice of, sh or not G, uh, sorry, my bad. Uh, DG Mixer and then yeah, a shirt. shirt. And then no one guessed the secret thing on the nope. grill that Rachel had. Nope. And if she's in the comment section, Rachel, don't tell them. We'll just keep it a secret it forever. It will forever yeah. remain forever. a secret. Y'all can keep guessing. That's yeah, fine. You'll never sure, guess keep it. Guessing. And nope. then if someone ever guesses it right, yeah. Let's maybe a year from now. Yeah, no end time to this giveaway. If you ever guess it correctly on the show, we will give it to you. Yes. <laughs> a rub and sauce yes. bundle. A rub and sauce bundle. I love but it. I'm excited. I love it. Today, we are making crustless apple pie, but it's like Hasselback apple pie. Oh. Hasselback mm. apple pie. Yeah. I was excited when we found this recipe. I know. You found it. Good I job. did. <laughs> Searching that interweb, the Googles. I know. And then we, you know, always add our little twists. And yep. you got your little warm apple pie. You yes. always have to use always for that, gotta for eat. sure. Pork, anything. It's just good. It's Well, it's great for the holidays. Oh, my God. Guys, there's a puppy over there. It's distracting me. Look he at is that. a cute little bugger. Sheesh. Puppies at Rec Tech. All right. If you have a dog, we have dogs at Rec Tech <laughs> on Instagram. You should definitely check it out. We love seeing your dogs next to your yes. Rec Tech. All right, let's, let's get started. Yeah, all right. So, guys, all I'm going to do is half this apple. It doesn't matter what kind of apple either. It doesn't. So, the recipe called for baking apple, and I'm in Publix this morning. Like, what is a baking apple? Yeah. And then I Googled it, and they are like, any apple? And I was like, okay. So yeah. That's cool. You see, so I like I just Granny have the Smith. biggest ones. Me too. I so like Granny Smith. Me too. That was my favorite. But yeah. I'm going to save this. Greg yelled at me for well, throwing so much out. Put in the comments what your favorite yeah. apple is. And while you're down there, make sure to share this because everyone needs to know about crustless apple pie. Yeah. I mean, this is super simple. Y'all are going to love this. It's actually kind of, you know, less carbs, less oh, calories. Oh, hey, Stevie. Hey, Stevie. Hey, Stevie. Stevie. He's always distracting <laughs> us. Yeah, yeah he, he really likes to come is. out here. Stevie, we, if you can see Stevie, can you wave Wait, with your left hand? Stevie, that was Rec Tech football. We talked about it last week. I've not been traded. I am a coach. Get out of here. So we have a Rec Tech football flag football team yep. league here. We talked about it last teams. week. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. First I missed the game. Season. There I was, was like 10 people that got hurt. Update. Black on the guys. IR, and the, on the <laughs> IR, we've got uh, 10 people hurt here at Rec Tech. So. Keep that in mind. I'm so <laughs> glad I skipped my game. <laughs> yeah. My team won. My team apparently stacked the best team. Yeah. Shout out. I can't even say our team name. But yeah. AB's yeah. team is pretty good. Yeah. Um, so anyways, to Hasselback thing. So the thing about Hasselback, so it came from a restaurant in Sweden from a chef in 1953. Interesting. From Hasselbacken Restaurant. Wow. So I think he did it with potatoes first. And all that is is yep. cutting slits evenly into your whatever you're cooking. And you're stuffing it or putting, um, I guess you could put butter, you could put anything. Butter, like just in anything. between there, like slices. Cheese. But you're just not cutting it all the way through. So, like, mm -hmm. you can do it with avocados, chicken, potatoes, mm -hmm. bread, whatever you want to do. So, we're going to do it with an apple. And chef tip here, shout out to Chef John and Chef Greg. I put two chopsticks with it. So, it won't, it will not allow me to cut it all the way through. It just stops me. 
super easy. And of course, Madeline using those super safe, super careful knife skills. Oh yeah, with my yes. Uh, I'm glad that you're doing it. Y'all don't check out my nails, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I didn't have time after Colorado to get them done, so let's ignore that. But, so that's all we're going to do, really. And Here, so let's bring this guy over to me. It, yeah, go it, ahead calls and start for, getting ready. it calls for a um, baking sheet with parchment paper, but anything like that you can just throw on our mesh cooking mat available at RecTech, yep. $14.98. Thank you. I'm getting all up in your business yeah. right now. Sheesh. Well, I was just trying to, like, you know, better the process yeah, over here. But honestly, so you're just going to cut through, and this knife is really sharp, so that chopstick's sticking to it, which doesn't matter because it's just preventing me from going all the way through. Oh, here's our so melted butter. So I put melted butter on, on the, the hopper, hopper because it is kind of like a warming station. Yep. So it keeps that butter melted, heated up, and same thing with the caramel that we'll use at the end of the show. Yes. Guys, they are lighting up the comment section right now App with their favorite apples. A lot of honey Ooh. crisp, a lot of food. Yeah. Okay, so I almost got that. I just found the biggest ones right. today. That's honestly what I went for. The biggest apples. The biggest apples. Everybody at Publix was so nice. I had to I get love Publix. I had to get butter chardonnay for the drink that Amanda's gonna make, and Ooh. I did not know what I was doing in the wine section with that. So Should've this guy came up. He was so nice, and I was like, I just drink. My regular, so I have no idea where to find this. You should have sent me. I love me some wine. I know you're definitely a wine a whiny, <laughs> a whiny. But so what we're doing next after Madeline Hasselbacks these, she's then handed them off. We're using some of that melted butter. I'm gonna be we're honest. just gonna paint them. I All thought right. Hasselbacking a Hasselback was a football position. Oh gosh, Jordan. Jordan that's because you don't know much sports. All but right. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Jordan. We'll leave you to acting and. And and okay. Yeah. Good. It's okay. So you tried. Yeah. Got to be good at something. <laughs> yeah. This is Greg's. He wanted this. I threw out like six of these this morning. He's like, don't do that again. All right. So, so now we're done painting our apples. So then next what we're going to do, so we're just going to grab a little bit of sugar. We're just going to put it right over the top. This is going to help to caramelize the apples while they're on the grill. Just put a little bit. Super simple. The kids Mine. would love this if you want to get the kids involved. And that's what Thanksgiving is all about. Getting the family together, doing things as one. Thank you. Enjoying the meal and enjoying making it. Yes. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of this raised warm apple pie because I don't know what would go better no, than yeah. this on it. I mean, it makes honest. the most sense, right? It does. So we actually came out with that. I feel like it was a year ago, Jordan, right? Just about. About a year. It was about the holiday season. Mm -hmm. Ray came in. He was like, you know what? We're switching things up. <laughs> he used to have front row master blend. That's right. Um, but we went with this. It's so good on a lot of stuff that you wouldn't yes. expect. But Great. definitely pork and definitely dessert. Great yes. holiday season. All right. So we're at 350. Yep. And all we're going right to do, in the middle. just put these bad boys right on. They're going to cook for about 25 minutes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at first. Wow, mm -hmm. look at that. What's that accessory that you guys were I'm using a, to, cut, to place those Thank apples? Oh what gosh, accessory was that? Uh, that is our mesh cooking mat. I love that thing. It uh, It's dishwasher safe, so you can easily just throw that right on in the dishwasher. That's what I do whenever after I cook like oh, veggies yeah. or something. I'm too lazy to be doing all the dishes after I cook. Yeah, same. So Perfect. you guys know I never make y'all wait. I seriously mm -hmm. have the least patience possible. So yes. I already had and did this. Two, I mean, 350, 25 minutes. Yep. They're a little. You see the little, little slits soft. right on in there. And we Not tried the these through. earlier. Yeah, we did. And they were delicious. They were so. We, so y'all, all our recipes, honestly, <laughs> so we're not culinary experts whatsoever. No, we do nor, not come up with it. <laughs> nor do we even try our recipes no. before we do the show. <laughs> not at all. This is the first time. Every single time, y'all yeah. see us make something for the first time. So it's kind of nerve wracking. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, today we brought them off and we're like, huh. I was like, Madeline, we should do four apples. She was like, well, we already did two tastes. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't And she apples. also, on one of them, she peeled the skin off. I was like, Madeline, I think you're supposed to leave that on there. Yeah, thanks for letting me. Yeah. Got you there. <laughs> trial so, and error. Yes, trial and error. No biggie. Whatever. So next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to get some of these oats, and we're just going to pour them right on in here. Does it matter what kind of oats? Um, I would say no. Yeah. What do you think? No, because I called Greg from the grocery. He told me no. Yeah. I mean, oats, oats are oats, you. I feel like. <laughs> So, so then we're like Quaker oats. Yeah, okay, Quaker cool. oats. Those are good oats. Quaker good oats. makes good oats. Yeah. Um, so then we're just going to pour some sugar on in here. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pour some of this raised warm apple pie. I know we said no riot mode, but I am just gonna oh, slightly, for that, you can yeah, riot I'm mode gonna it. go riot mode real fast. That's fine. We're gonna pour some of this in here. And it's okay if it's clumpy, it's just the sugars that are in there. Is that like a brown sugar and a cinnamon sugar? Is that what that, I think that's uh, what's in there, let's see. Yeah, brown sugar, I and then yeah, cinnamon, brown sugar, cinnamon nutmeg. apple flavored sugar and salt. So honestly, anything that calls for brown sugar yeah. or cinnamon sugar, or cinnamon, you're gonna definitely wanna use that warm apple pie available at Rec Tech. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get some of this butter. We're about just gonna four ounces, I mean four tablespoons, I think. Yeah, that looks about four, Let's maybe. Let's with it. Yeah, and then what we're gonna <laughs> do is we're just gonna mix this on up. If we need to add more, we can. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah. And of well, course you see. could smoke those as well. Yeah, you, you can, can smoke these oats and that would just give you that extra smoky Chef John flavor. just did a smoked nut mm. recipe for our thanks grilling powered by king's fur yes <laughs> pepitas these smell yes. so good pepitas and nuts he smoked them and <laughs> john's john's in the background john's just over out. there yeah <laughs> john wanted to make sure that we didn't say anything on the show today so y'all so john got here. attacked by a bear in colorado apparently i wasn't aware of it but it happened yeah. and then when we got to the airport olivia just didn't want to leave and you know we got jobs to do so Rumor Olivia's out there it. still doing her thing but me and John had a show so we're here. Rumor has All it right. she's still in Denver begging for change. <laughs> <laughs> All right so then what we're gonna do is those slits you're just gonna put some of the little oat mixture right on in there. Simple. Super easy. Maybe my partner in crime will come back and help me <laughs> so we don't leave the people waiting for all of this. <laughs> yeah, they, all right, in, in all the right. comments, guys, they were a little bit, uh, they were curious as to how you were going to actually hassle back this. And now you're seeing it. You're yep. just stuffing now it you're with seeing those it. You're just stuffing it with these So oats. I also feel like, and John, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like if you, they're supposed to be thin slices, but like when you do chicken, it's a little easier to move, yeah. like maneuver it. But could you like slice it and do double slices, make it like a V to, yeah? Oh God, what is that? Oh, it's my mic. I mean, Jordan. guys, we don't have to be <laughs> perfect whenever you're putting these on in here. Sorry, I mean, you can't do that. honestly, it's like super simple. I mean, obviously some things are easy to put the stuffing in. Yeah. But honestly, I'm just gonna, that looks good to So me. now that I know, honestly, what I would have done better job of hasslebacking since I said this is the first time we've ever done it. That one's cut in half. But I would make thicker slices like yeah. these so you can stick all of this granola or what is it? Oats? Oats. It's pretty much granola. Yeah. Yeah. But it's okay. We're making it work. Y'all, what is your favorite pie? Put that in the comment mm. section. I, y'all, if I tell you this secret, then I might just get yelled at by the Rec Tech Nation. <laughs> I have never had apple pie in my life. Whoa. I've never had cherry pie shame. in my life. John's like giving cherries. me some looks over there. He's not okay with it. Well, Madeline, it's funny you bring that up. I actually did some research today. Found As out you always do. Everybody knows apple pie is an unofficial symbol of America, um, brought <laughs> to America in the 17th century. But little do we know, one of the earliest recipes for apple pie came from a 1381 cookbook. 1381. What? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Can you right. believe it? I'm just over here just trying to stuff some hassle Do you know what feels bags. really weird right now? What's that? That I'm on the right side of you. I, uh, is this weird? Yeah, <laughs> this it is, is weird. weird. We never cook uh, like this. I mean, I'm just trying to, you know, stuff these oats on in these apples. Uh, what would y'all hassle back other than chicken and this apple recipe or bread, avocado? I mean, I love me some avocados. It certainly looks delicious. It does. It smells so good, too, Jordan, over here. We got all this oats and yumminess. So I have some disappointment in the Rectech Nation. No one found us in Denver, Colorado, Vail, or anywhere. <laughs> and I really wanted someone to pinch John's butt so they could win a grill. John would not have approved of that. I don't know. John's I a little soft. John got a little saucy. He might have been a little excited. You know what? <laughs> We're just going to use all these oats. I'm just going to. Nope. We got more in there. Never mind. We're good. Disregard me. All right. So. All right. Let's recap. So we sliced them in half, hassle backed them, put them on there for 325 with sugar mm -hmm. and butter and warm apple and pie. And warm apple pie, raised warm Brought apple pie. Brought them off for 25 minutes after that. Yep. And then we now did our oat mix. Yep. And we're going to do 10 minutes. We're doing 10 minutes okay. right back up on the grill. All right. I'm just going to move it Whoa. over. 
Yep, move that on over. Let's put this guy right go. here. So Ooh, I hear that? Sizzle. Sizzle, sizzle. So, what are we going to do for 10 minutes? What do you think? Uh, I mean, do y'all want to hear about my life story? No, hear about boring. your life story? I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm a very interesting woman. Yeah, <laughs> especially if we talk about sloths. Oh my gosh, that's going to make me cry. She's crazy. She cries at the word sloth. I cry. But I, I think, let's just drink. You know we're drinkers here at Rexha. Yes. So yes, Amanda. I think it is time for our dirty girl, Amanda, to come on. She's been working super hard on this recipe. Yeah, so honestly, hard, this is something crazy what she come came up in, with. Come on in, Amanda. It's crazy. I don't think it is. Hey, No, everybody. I'm saying it's just different. It's good. It's, it's different. So good. It's so good. Wait till y'all see what I'm about yes, to do. Yes, I'm Smoke so up. excited. Smoke so, up. So, glad to have y'all back. Yes. Well, you so were here last year. I know. Yeah. I missed you. Yes. Yeah. Amanda was supposed down. to come with us to Colorado, but it, things didn't work out, so it's okay. I had to go to the billboard with my mom. Yes. Yes. Have, it's been I a long time. Y'all got to spend time with your family, you yes. know? Yes, Oh, course. absolutely. Anytime you get a chance. You didn't do your signature? Oh, well, yeah. hello, dirty girlies and dirty dudes. Welcome to Barbecue Wednesday. This um, is going to be an exciting recipe. Yeah, I'm excited to show y'all what I'm about to do. Will you help me? Of course I can. All right, y'all. So today we are going to be making a mulled spice wine. What and does that even mean? It's basically a slow cooked um, wine with some juices and some spices okay. and stuff. It's so you're really cooking the wine? Holiday. Yes, we are. We're going to actually smoke it on the grill. Honestly. So I've cooked wine, but I've never cooked wine, or I've cooked with wine, but not to drink. That's okay. Interesting. Yeah, Different. well, me and Shannon, you already know this, oh, but yeah. we're huge um, red wine, wine fanatics. Red yes. wine at that. But today we're actually going to be doing a blend of red and um, a white. So uh, The first time I was introduced to this drink was from Chef Jordan Tosheda from um, Ironwood. And they actually carry Dirty Girl. So if Ironwood are Tavern? Local, yeah, Ironwood I Tavern. I love going oh, there. Wow. Super good. So, yeah, we went to his Westaboo um, little culinary mm -hmm. secret, you know, um, sit down last year. And this is one of the things he had on his menu. Wow. So. Well, I know that this is a great recipe around the holiday time. If y'all want something warm, that's just going to like, you know, slow sip and, you know. Just is it anything like sangria? It's basically a warm sangria. That's cool. Yeah. Then I love it. Then I'll be about it. Yeah, you're going to yeah. love it. And two kind of wines, like, okay. Yeah. So today <laughs> we're working with a Cabernet, and then I was recommended the Chardonnay called Butter because it has it's like barrel aged and it's got vanilla notes and stuff. So we're going to use that. And Josh is one of our favorites it is. that we that we like to sip on while we're up here at Rex Egg. Oh, for Always sure. Always thinking about you girls. Yeah. When Thank I was at Publix, you. I was like, we got to get Josh. Thank you. What's Josh. everyone's Thank favorite you. type of wine, if they do like wine? Red wine, white wine. Do you, you have know, a favorite say, label? You know what y'all like? really want to know is what, what, what do y'all do for Thanksgiving? Do y'all like to dress up to hang out in the, in the living oh, room? Oh, PJs and like the yeah, stretchy or, pants. Yes. So you're just like... I'm definitely the type that likes to wear yoga pants. I can eat as oh, yeah. much as I can oh, yeah. and, yeah. you know, I watch take pictures in your nice clothes yes. and change immediately. Start with that Dirty Girl Bloody yes. Mary. Yes. Start early. Yes. I watched, this, on to I watched this funny video from um, the dude dad today, and it was about, like, the five different people of Thanksgiving. It was really funny. The that's one was, like, the, the host, and then the second one was, like, the one that's always late. Third one was like the I'm sleeper. The, I'm the drinker, yeah. obviously. It was like the, the sleeper <laughs> slash like always hungry, like checking everything. And then I can't remember the. If you want to watch the video, it's really funny. Highly recommend. Go to the dude dad. It's really Love funny. That. Yeah. I'm definitely the cool aunt that comes yeah. <laughs> drinking. Are you the cool aunt? Yeah, so we all know what that means. <laughs> yeah. The cool aunt. The know, cool never, aunt. Never settle down. But guys, Christmas, like I love Thanksgiving. I really do. I love being around mm -hmm. my family. I love seeing people that I don't get to see often and just. Being Get thankful, in the kitchen. Yep. taking a second, yeah, yeah, being with each other in the kitchen, mm -hmm. but Christmas is around the corner, and I am exactly. so excited. So, so, so excited. excited. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use our Dirty Girl Sour Mix. We're just going to do a half a cup of that just to break down and, you know, with some sour mix. Then we're going to actually take some honey. So we w actually were sent this honey from Double Barrel Honey, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Aged Pure Honey, Ooh. from a rec tech owner that owns this honey company. 19, wait, hold on, let's see. Oh, I thought I had a year on it. I was like, Hasselbacks are from the 1900s. What did you say, Jordan, was from the 1300s? Uh, the, uh, the one of the earliest apple pie recipes. Yeah. So I wanted this honey to be like old, old. <laughs> it's going to be delicious. It is. Devil barrel age, too, at that. Wow. wow. What does that even mean? I don't know, but it sounds <laughs> super good and it's gotta uh, be good. alcohol appropriate, right? <laughs> yes. 
So I want to know, what are y'all making for your, you know, loved ones this holiday? Like, what kind of cocktails are y'all planning on mixing up? I'm mixing Is it going to be the drink of fall? Oh. I heard there's a drink. Okay. No. I heard there's a drink of winter out now. So last <laughs> week, I'm sitting there with John. He's... <laughs> Y'all, I heard some feelings last episode. He did. Um, so we're in Colorado and we're watching, and John was getting fired up. <laughs> I had I a mean, phone he call called Jordan. He called Jordan in the middle, in the of, middle of the show. He was yeah. like, "What are they coming at me for?" I don't know. Jody came at him hard. You but didn't call him too hard, but you I did didn't. call him. You called him right before the show for the recipe, and then. <laughs> I you do the make recipe. Sure my recipe is gonna be better. But yeah, you make it better. So then after he, all that went down, John was like, "I should have just told her the wrong recipe." Shannon can attest <laughs> that my drink of fall was way better than John's. It, it was, sure. and she didn't forget it. You didn't forget that dirty girl either. I didn't forget the dirty girl like he did. Got pushed <laughs> yeah, girl. that I mean, that's the we only love you, ever John. Up, John. <laughs> we love you, John. So we're gonna spice up our. I'm on concoction. your side. You know that. Oh wait. Yeah, we got apple cider too. So we're gonna do two cups of apple cider. I'm working with a half cup right here, so four times. Wow. So half cup of uh, Dirty Girl, and then two cups of apple cider. Y'all don't forget, we do have two giveaways. So we've got the Dirty Girl Choice of Mix and the shirt, and then we also have the icer cooler, which is right behind us, holding our ice cream for the end of this to go yeah. on top of our apples. Love that. All right, so now we're gonna add our spices, y'all. So Do that's a secret up. ingredient for mulled wine is you want to like have all the good spices for it. Yes. Can you open that for me? Of course I can. Amanda. So we're going to do about five cloves. So it's a little bit more than five, but that'll do. Then we're going to do a nutmeg. And what we're going to do is nutmeg. very similar to cocktail mixing. We're going to muddle it or grate it. So just put it in your <laughs> cup and... Whoa. Oh, nuts flying. <laughs> <laughs> is, that mu is that how you do it? Yeah. Just kind of muddle it. Crack and it up. If you don't it. have, like, this setup, what would you do? Um, Throw a rock on it? I would definitely break it school. with, like, yeah, maybe <laughs> caveman style. Why yeah. not? Just knock me out and drag me by the hair while you're at it. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. So we're going to grate this up really good. And it's okay to have a whole, nut, a whole uh, nutmegs in your drink, too as it gives that like really uh, fall looking kind of um, recipe. And then we're gonna take our cinnamon sticks. All right, so I mean, I have a question. So yeah. you're making this in a pot. So obviously this is not the normal way to make a this drink. No, so but what so are you, you like can do a crock pot, but you know, here at Rectag, we like to utilize our, gonna... our grill. So, so you're gonna, gonna, gonna put these. this on the grill. That's right. How long are you gonna be on the grill with it? So the secret to mold wine is low and slow. So we have the grill set at 225, and you wanted to just simmer for about a good hour. So now we're adding a little bit of um, anise extract. We couldn't find whole pods, so we're using that. And some vanilla extract, like a teaspoon. All right, and then, of course, we're gonna do some nutmeg. Of course. Of course. All the fall flavors, right? Has anybody ever made any mold wine that's watching? That's watching? Yeah, yeah. I, never I wonder. Heard of this. Drop yeah. that in there and let us know if you have any other tips on how to make a great mold wine because Manda's yes. is fabulous. So you can actually use brandy for mold wines, but today we're going to use Murder Creek's Praline Pecan mm. uh, Moonshine. Or go ahead and tag your drinking buddy that yes. would love that. this. Who's a wine drinker? My grandma would love this. She loves, I mean, she loves alcohol, love but we could say she, she definitely loves wine. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> we're strong women, so we're going to do a whole cup of that. Yum. Of moonshine? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I got to go back to my desk today, Amanda. Hey, it's, thank <laughs> gosh we're, we're off tomorrow, though. Oh, That's yeah, that's true. Beautiful. Yeah. But I don't want to feel bad, but whatever. Who cares? We'll, we'll have fun today. That really good. So also what I did earlier is um, slice up some oranges and that's what you're gonna want to simmer in your pot. Some fresh oranges to extract that flavor for it. So Look it's gonna be is. like a sangria. Almost. Pretty much, it's basically a, a warm sangria for the holidays. Awesome. If you will. So what we're gonna do is put this on the grill, <laughs> low and slow for, you want it to simmer for a good hour. And Shannon. But of course, Amanda is prepared. That I am. 
and let's get we've already had one prep for y'all and also it's gonna show y'all how to use raised warm apple pie for your cocktails so there we, we already go. have our mold wine right here that's been simmering for over yep. an hour um so then we're gonna take our raised warm apple pie and what we're gonna do is rim our glasses with it just a little bit of sour mix and then raised warm apple pie so just because she dehydrated these, I'm going to give you a hint at the thing that no one guessed last week from Rachel. She was dehydrating something yes. on the grill. She was. Yeah, she, she wasn't just smoking it. She was dehydrating Nobody it. Nobody would guess it to yeah, you. It's no. something you'll never guess. So we're going to keep that giveaway open until someone says it. Yes. On all it's our pretty hard, y'all. Like, think, of, think outside the box. Really? Sure. Drop that in the comments. It's definitely something that's probably never been on a grill for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. When she said it, I was like, what? <laughs> I was it was wild. <laughs> so it another cool another way to enhance our cocktails this season is um, dehydrating fruit, which oranges go very well for this Smells one. Smells so good. So what we did is um, I got Chef John to thinly slice some oranges for us, and then I doused it in some raised warm apple pie, and then put it on the grill, low and slow, and it comes out looking all pretty. Man, this drink smells so good. It's so good. Oh, Shannon, you're going to love it. I'm feeling I super wait. giving this Thanksgiving, Are honestly. You? And Christmas season coming up. Like, I think I want to do a crap ton of giveaways for our show. Oh, I love that. Let's do it. Y'all, smash that share button while you're watching right now. Tag all your friends. You know that sharing is caring. Yes. What you love your pellets were we burning today for these recipes? Oh, good question, Jordan. We were actually using those maple Kingsford pellets. They're fruity. They're sweet. They go great with this recipe. And Amanda used it too for hers as well. Yes. So Smoke love those cocktails, y'all. Don't be yeah, afraid. Love those maple Kingsford pellets. I'm cooking our turkey this year with maple Kingsford cut pellets. Nice. And look how pretty these are. And just garnish it like so. Ooh. There you go. Nice. Baby. Warm. Thank you. It's so Come warm. on, Jordan. Yes, ma'am. And of course, me and Jordan have already been drinking on ours. You want to sip this? Yeah. It is hot. You don't yeah. want to put ice. Yeah, in no, it. I can't even hold the glass. <laughs> it's straight yeah, off the grill it's smoking. Be warm, so if y'all have like proper mugs for this, cheers. 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 I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Jordan did it. It's a warm. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That is so good. That is very, so yummy. Very good. That is so good, Amanda. Thank Killed you. that one. That will keep you Thank warm too. And Christmas time. Another win, buddy. All right, so Thank let's you. go ahead and pull that. these off. It. Do we have any questions in the meantime? Oh. <laughs> we have a giveaway too. It's do you so want to announce your giveaway? You're going to throw the dart. Do you want to go ahead and announce your giveaway winner sure. while those cool down? Absolutely. All okay, right. so last week you had to do hashtag better drink of fall because my drink was way better than Chef John's. Oh, and not only that, but my flag football team beat. John's, but also Shannon's team. Yep, She's they the did. <laughs> they did. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, my team was the highest scoring, so imagine if I was on the field. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll meet you there. Bring it on. Bring it. Bring it. <laughs> All right, so for last week's winner for a Dirty Girl cocktail mixing shirt and their mixer of choice is going to be Chris Carver. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Chris. Congratulations. Let us know the size of your shirt and what kind of mix of choice you want, and we'll have that on the way. Yeah, just message Rec Tech um, Facebook page and Travis Mitchum up there in the call center. He will be happy to get that sent out to you. This I'm amazing, actually representing Dirty Girl today. Is this the shirt they're going to win? This is the shirt they're going to win right here. Rocket. The pocket tee. It's the oh, on the back. Unisex. No. 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 Okay. Just so just That's that. Just the frocket. Yeah. We love frockets here, just like the barbecue shirt. Exactly. Yes. Let's do our giveaway as well, too, while we get everything together. Do we want to the winner or do we want to have Olivia? Or Olivia, oops. <laughs> no, let's I announce the Amanda. winner. Let's I announce know. the winner. Shouldn't have left her. All right, so oh, our yeah. winner for an icer cooler, your choice. This is our camo. We do have it in red and black. Go dogs. And we also have it in red, white, and blue. My so, favorite. Yeah, I do love that. But the winner of that is... Christy Howard. Congratulations. Oh, Christy, Christy. Congratulations, Christy. Just go ahead and message into Rec Tech Facebook page and we will get you settled with a <laughs> icer cooler and whatever color and style you want. We also have more sizes coming, guys. Stay tuned. Smaller, larger, different colors. Just they're coming. They're in the works. Yes. Do you need help? 
So let's try yeah, this, and then at the end of the easy. show, I'm Amanda is going to throw the dart on our, what did you call it, Jordan, last week? Barbecue balloon board. Barbecue balloon board. Love BBB. That. So he's going to definitely, you're going to. Are y'all ready for it? Three. I don't know, not yet, but not I'm yet. gonna I'm gonna pick one. You know me. Yes. I always try to challenge the thrower, so I That's wanna right. see if they can hit it, if they can be All accurate. Right. I haven't played darts in a long time. Look at this. You are wifing it up. Yo. Yeah, Wifey material. I'm just over here just trying to give the people what they want. <laughs> they wanna see <laughs> us try this. Right? Yeah. Y'all I can drink this, like this is dangerous. No, I could. This is dangerous. It's going to sneak up on I you. I have to go back to work, Amanda. All Do you right. Know it's the last day. We can get a little saucy. So let's but just. Let's don't just don't tell the bosses. It'll be yeah. fine. Let's Shh. recap. We got these. Hasselback. Any kind Crustless. of apple you like. Yep. Any kind of apple. At three tw at three fifty for 25 minutes. Ooh, she that looks skimped so good, me on that ice cream. All right. I'm an ice cream girl. Oh, yes. So then the last thing that we're going to do, add that. Oh, add that looks some, so good. well, <laughs> some caramel. Add some caramel and some ice cream on top. Now, obviously, you can do kind of whatever. Wow. Oh wow! Just like that butter, I threw that caramel on top of the hopper just as a warming station. Yes. And it is. Oh my goodness, y'all! Giving me a little bit. Yeah. Of a, I'm but trying that's to caramel diet. for you. Excuse y'all. I, I know. So am I. Same. I think kidding. we're all on a diet, but it's freaking. Holiday season, you can't do it. I've been eating good all week just to like yeah, save up for Thanksgiving. Oh, have you? Oh, yeah. I've been eating really bad all week just to prepare my belly to stretch more. <laughs> all so right. you're a there yoga girl. You're a yoga pants girl and things. Oh, absolutely. Love I'm a pajama. I don't, yeah, don't change. All right, let's go Thank ahead you. and get on in JJ? here. Come here, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Okay. Here, I'll give you this one. Okay. Here okay. Go. All right. Let's go ahead. All right. Let's get in there. Get a little bit of all that. Get a little bit of ice Ladies. cream, apple. So this is a dessert. This is a very unique dessert. I've never had this at any. Yeah, of and kind of like we just said, healthier if we're on diets. It's I don't know how Less to eat carbs. It. I don't wow. either. But cheers. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. That is delicious. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Wow. Do wow. something. Do this. Is yummy. This is different. This is different. Surprise your mm. family, your friends with this recipe. They will be very happy with Those it. Those oats are, are something special. And, and Jordan are. doesn't like healthy stuff. Not really. It's delicious. <laughs> Not at all. Mm -hmm. Fried chicken, and that's about it. All this right. This is good. This is really good. All right, Amanda, let's wrap this up. All There's right. my fork, so I guess I'm done. Wait, can I do a giveaway, too? Yeah. Why not? Okay. I got a good one for y'all. How about a full live Dirty Girl Mixers? And a koozie, a koozie that nobody else has. Mm. It's a really cool mm. koozie because it fits on any pint glass. That koozie's awesome, too. It's super cute. You did a great so job designing it. In order to win this, we're going to do hashtag Team Dirty Girl. I like it. Team Dirty Girl. AKA my flag football team. Team Dirty Girl. The one that beat <laughs> okay, I don't like it anymore. And Chef John's team. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, do that. All right, y'all right, ready? I'm going to say, What do you have to do to win this? What do you mean? Oh, this? Whatever all right, so for this, be. what you're going to have to do, whatever she hits, I'm thinking, I'm going to challenge you top right. Just because I know you can throw it right over, I'm going to challenge you that, top right. Top but right. listen, I want you, because Amanda was so, so <laughs> sweet to Chef John last week, we're going to have <laughs> you share this, this episode of Barbecue and also share Chef John's um, Backyard and Beyond from Monday. So you have to share both this and that. And hashtag thanks grilling, thanks grilling. And so if you share both videos, thanks grilling, share it to your page, make sure it's not private. Just top that top three buttons on the right, make sure it's not private, public can see it, and we will choose a winner from that. But let's give Chef Sean some love since you were just so, so sweet to him. I guess. He's all right. <laughs> he can be kind of sweet sometimes. All right, so I'm saying top right. Let's see. And if you miss, top we'll right. pick a different one. Two, one. Woo! Yeah, Amanda. It went behind this <laughs> BFG. That was good, wasn't it? I haven't no, played darts good. in a long time. Well, I still got it. Well, you killed it. You killed it, girl. All right. Trying to. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Can I announce it? Uh-huh. Y'all, right. I don't know what's in these balloons, so I'm excited for this one. Oh, that's a good one. An RT340, baby. If this you is the grill I have. Yeah. yeah if you want to win a grill, again, just share this video and Chef John's from Backyard and Beyond on Monday. Hashtag thanks grilling. Girl. 
and we will pick you. Make what sure a cool you giveaway. Yeah. Make sure you tune on in to our Twitter show, post Twitter show with Jordan. He'll be over there and he will give you the lowdown of this recipe. We are closed tomorrow. We so will no be with Thursday. our families, so we will not be here doing any live shows tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Chef John, you never know with him. He might do late night munchies. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, he, he might be in road. the mood for it. I we'll don't see. know. And but then we'll um, be back on Friday. We will be back on Friday for All Black right. Friday. Y'all stay tuned yes. for those Black Friday sales. Yes. They start tomorrow. Yes. Woo! Yes. All right, All right we'll everyone. See you. They're exciting. Have a happy Thanksgiving. And have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And cheers. And cheers.